Happy New Year, Gary. Uh, say that as a gesture, yeah. but also because of the result. Yeah, nice. Obviously, score three at home and, and keep a clean sheet. Uh, it was good, and um, I thought the lads, uh, you know, fully deserved the win. And I thought we showed a lot of spirit second half and defended well. So all round good performance. Yeah, some good play. Jake Beasley getting a brace was was pleasing. As yeah. you say, in between those two goals, though, you did have to withstand a bit of pressure in the second half. Yeah, I mean, obviously Chesterfield are you know a big club in this division, and you're going to expect to to be under the cost for a while, but. Uh, Good, good performance in terms of us strikers scoring, you know, and uh, like I say, a clean sheet as well. Um, when we had to at the end, I thought the lads put the body on the line, and nice to see Ryan coming and helping them out as well. So yeah, you know, can be happy with the performance all round. Yeah, as you say, the the clean sheet a, a real big one because I know yeah. Tim has been talking about that recently yeah. about being more resolute at the back, mm. and I, I think it's the yeah. first clean sheet since November. Yeah, I think probably goals against were as good as probably if not the best in the league, but. Uh, it's just the way, you know, we've, I've conceded a few sloppy goals, so obviously, you know, gives the lads confidence today with uh, getting over the line and not conceding, and I thought they deserved it overall. And Paul McCallum, nice to see him. It was a typical striker's finish yeah. from him and 10 for the season. Yeah, that's, that's, that's his game. You know, we know if we can get some balls in there, then he's going to be between the goals, and if he is, then... His record tells you that he's, he's going to score. So yeah, like I said earlier, good, good three, three points, three goals, clean sheet, and your strikers are getting amongst the goals. So good. And it does get you back on track with the, with the playoff picture. I know again, yeah. Tim talked about you know let's a yeah. bit of a reality check, a, a yeah. reality check about where mm. Solihull Moors are. But you want to be in that mix now. You're up there. Yeah, of course we do. I think we've probably become accustomed to it. You know, over the last couple of seasons or so. So yeah, we. You know, we want to stay in amongst it. Um, we think on our day we're as good as any team in this division. So yeah, we obviously we want to be up there fighting for for the honours. And as I say as well, the, the, the three goals because the last couple of weeks haven't gone no. for you in terms of those goals because you've had eight loads of possession and yeah. you've created chances but haven't found the back of the net. But it's all come together today. Yeah, I think sometimes in football it happens like that. I thought probably, you know, we could have got something out of the game against Notts County. Um, the lads obviously made a great save, would have made it 1-1. One, one. So yeah, we, we've just found ourselves probably coming down the wrong side of a, of a few uh, results and that. So yeah, I think good, you know, Philip for the lads today and, uh, you know, good, great, great all round to, to get the three points.